Hello and welcome to this video from Haybridge High School and Sixth Form Maths Department. This video covers the GCSE higher tier topic of the prime factor rule for determining whether fractions can be expressed as terminating or recurring decimals. So in order to determine whether we can express a fraction as a recurring or terminating decimal, we need to look at the prime factors of its denominator. And the prime factor rule is that fractions with denominators that only have prime factors of 2, 5 or both can be expressed as terminating decimals. So, let's have a look at our first question. Explain why the fraction 3 over 20 can be expressed as a terminating decimal. Now, in order to answer these questions, you need to express the denominator of the fraction as a product of its prime factors. So, the easiest way to do this is to draw a factor tree. So, I'm going to draw a factor tree for 20. So, I know that I can divide 20 by 2. 20 divided by 2 will give me 10. And I can also divide 10 by 2 and that will give me 5, which is also prime. So, the reason why the fraction 3 over 20 can be expressed as a terminating decimal is because the only prime factors of the denominator are 2 and 5. So here's our next question. Explain why the fraction 5 over 72 cannot be expressed as a terminating decimal. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the previous question. I'm going to start off with 72 and I'm going to break it down into its prime factors. So 72, I know I can divide that by 2 and that will give me 36. 36 I can also divide by 2, which will give me 18. 18 I can divide by 2, and that will give me 9. And 9 I can divide by 3, and that will give me 3. So 72 as a product of its prime factors is 2 cubed multiplied by 3 squared. So 5 over 72 cannot be expressed as a terminating decimal because the denominator has a prime factor of 3. So it has prime factors other than 2 and 5. So our next question, David says that 10 over 31 can be expressed as a terminating decimal because the only prime factors of the numerator 10 are 2 and 5. Do you agree with David? Explain your answer. And you might want to pause the video for a moment here to have a think about it and write down your own answer and then see how it compares with my answer. So I'm hoping that you said that no, you don't agree with David, because the prime factor rule states that only fractions with denominators, whose prime factors are only 2 and 5, can be expressed as terminating decimals. The prime factors of the numerator are irrelevant. So always remember that you're looking at the denominator. The numerator, it doesn't matter what the numerator is, it's the denominator that determines whether a fraction can be expressed as a terminating or a recurring decimal. And then here's our final question. So Zainab says that 17 over 60 can be expressed as a terminating decimal because 2 and 5 are prime factors of 60. Do you agree with Zainab? Explain your answer. 
Now, if you want to pause the video here and have a go at this one, that's fine. I'm going to begin by decomposing 60 into its prime factors. Decomposing a number into its prime factors just means that we're breaking it down and expressing it as its prime factors. So 60 I can divide by 2 and that will give me 30. 30 I can also divide by 2 and that will give me 15. And 15 I can divide that by 3 and that will give me 5. So my conclusion is that no, I do not agree with Zainab because 60 has prime factors other than 2 and 5 and so cannot be expressed as a terminating decimal.